have Denise King from UMass Lowell uh, now joining us here on America East Women's Basketball Media Day. Hi, Denise. How are things going there in Lowell? Going well. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Hi, Denise. I'm, I'm a I'm a Lowell. My, I am a Lowell native. Lowell is my hometown. So, oh, um, I don't think I knew that. Yeah, well, I, maybe. Well, Billy Harry, you know, he's just to give me a hard time because when when UNH and Lowell would meet, I would be I would kind of have a soft spot for Lowell and, and Pat Duquette, at least on the men the men's side of things. I, but I kept that quiet around you, I guess, and never got over to you, Mark. <laughs> I but, never uh, knew that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm from so they've done a tremendous. The campus is beautiful. I mean, the, the construction coming home from school break and it would drive me crazy, but they're they're doing a good job. Uh, they're doing yeah. a good job in Lowell. Mm -hmm. Facilities are, are fantastic. Uh, but how, how are how are things going for you coming into a year where you have some uh, some experience? You have three starters coming back. What what do you make of the team, and how how are things going as far as this particular season? Yeah, I mean, I think things are going as can be expected. You know, um, I think if anybody says that they love where their team is at right now, I think I'd be like, I mean, yeah, I like where our team is at. Do I love where our team is at? No, um, but we we talk a lot about it being a marathon, not a sprint. Um, and embracing the journey as we continue to incorporate, what, seven or eight new players and, you know, three kids that are taking leadership roles for us and, you know, some people that have to step up in different ways with losing um, our seniors that we lost. So um, I love the energy of our team. I love our competitiveness of our team right now. I love the spirit of our team right now. Um, and we just focus on getting better one day at a time, 1% at a time. So for that, I can appreciate that. Um, and just excited to see where we go. It's always fun because I feel like in non-conference games, we always kind of <laughs> play the same people in New England, yep. right? So yep. How do you, how do you kind of approach that? I mean, I've always, when I was in your shoes, I always kind of felt it was, you know, we would play a, you play, you know, certain teams, the same certain teams, just because, you know, regionally. And I actually always felt going into conference play, it kind of helped me see kind of where we were at just based on, mm -hmm. you know, how we kind of came out of the non-conference. Um, what teams, yeah. like, are you, do you agree or are there certain teams that you're yeah. excited or different? Yeah, I definitely think that we're in a good spot in the Northeast, right? You have teams that have won 20 plus, you know, games a season. We have teams that have gone to the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, we have BCs down the road. So I think we have a lot of quality teams that are in the area. So um, I enjoy playing those type of teams because I think they prepare us in different ways. So, you know, you try to play, you know, teams every season that kind of mirror some of the people that you try to see in conference and, you know, see where you're at and test the waters in that way. So um, I think the area is great for the competitiveness of the teams that are around here, the other schools as well. But we definitely use it to see what we need to continue to work on, see what we need to build on, see what our strengths are at a certain point in the season. Um, and then day by day, piece by piece, just continuing to make the adjustments um, so that we are ready for conference play. Denise, as you know, it's a, a very challenging league as it pertains to defense, but you had an all-defensive selection in Sydney Watkins last mm -hmm. year, uh, Rain Durant, Abby Lindsay, all rookie players. So you've got some you've got some younger, a crop of younger players coming back that can really mm -hmm. help filter it to the rest of your team. What what are the expectations for that that trio specifically uh in your fourth season coming up? Yeah, I mean, definitely to take a larger leadership role. Um, I think those three have done a really good job of being vocal and instilling some of our culture and our principles day in and day out. So um, for me, it's just continuing to build on what they did throughout the season last year. So, um, you know, Sydney Watkins is pushing that charge for sure. Um, she's a really great leader for us. She's vocal. Um, she knows how to push our young lady. She knows how to make sure that we're, you know, all together in one unit. And in seeing that, it's allowed Abby and Rain um, to have a bigger voice, um, to be comfortable in stepping up and leading in their own ways as well. Um, in addition to Maddie Rice, another one of our sophomores. So just super excited about um, kind of where Sid is going to be this season um, and how she can help continue to push us, but also interested to see how, you know, everyone follows as a group. So um, our young talent is back. They're continuing to get in the gym. They're getting after it. They've made some adjustments from the summer. Um, for them, they got a little bit of a taste of what it feels like 
to kind of, um, you know, play well and maybe not necessarily see the success in the W columns. But, you know, I think mm -hmm. for them at the end of last season, getting some postseason accolades um, was a testament to the hard work that they put in. Definitely. Yeah. And, and with younger kids, too. I mean, like you, you played them a lot of minutes. I mean, I know firsthand how great you know, some of those players were. And every time we've mm -hmm. ever played new, when I was at Holy Cross, I mean, it always came down to the last possession or two and just how hard yep. they play. You know, that is hard, though, when you, when, like you said, when you don't come across and they, they don't see it in the W column. But at the same time, like I always worried when I would play older kids too much and I wouldn't play yeah. the younger kids for the future, you know? So mm -hmm. I think, you know, hopefully they're coming in and just looking at the league right now. I mean, obviously Maine, Albany, Vermont, but I mean, my opinion this year, it's 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 pretty open. I mean, do, do you yeah. feel like there's a good buzz around in the locker room? Do they believe yeah, that? Yeah, definitely. I think, again, at the end of last season, for some of our kids that have returned, just kind of, you know, playing that first conference tournament game, um, playing it tooth and nail, and then kind of having it slip away from us in the last, you know, couple of minutes uh, off of like two or three possessions. I think for them, kind of getting a bit of taste of that and kind of seeing, mm -hmm. man, like when we play together, when we stick to our defensive principles, when we're detail oriented, when we share the ball, um, good things happen. So mm -hmm. I think us being younger, that experience for that class um, was really good and really beneficial. I think our freshman class will have some of that opportunity as well um, because they are going to have to find ways to contribute. Um, and we are open to that. Um, that's why we brought them here. We didn't bring anybody here to sit on the bench, but we continue to bring people in to help push us and to make us better. So um, I feel like our young kids have, have done that that are freshmen coming in. And I think our sophomores are continuing to do that, um, you know, and battle and get after it every day in practice. So they're excited about the season. They're excited about the league. They're excited about the possibilities. Um, you know, we're just about keeping the main thing, the main thing over here. So as long as we do that, we feel like we can put ourselves in pretty good position. Denise King joining us, UMass Lowell women's basketball head coach here on America East Women's Basketball Media Day. So Millie Carrera was one, was your top scorer last year. Where, where mm -hmm. are we at in Lowell off, offensively? Where, where are the next steps that have to be taken now? Uh, we've talked about the young talent, uh, especially with the uh, walk-in showing last year defensively. Where, are the, where mm -hmm. is the growth offensively going to come from? Yeah. Um, you know, we are going to have some of our young kids that are going to have to step up. Um, we've made a couple of tweaks to our offense here and there. Um, it's definitely about simple shots, what's a good shot versus a great shot. Um, you have a good shot, but does somebody have an even better shot for you to be able to share, you know, the ball? So just a lot of repetition, a lot of footwork, a lot of skill development, um, a lot of game-like actions, um, you know, within practice. And then obviously, in order to feel confident about who you are, what you're doing as a player, as a team, as a group, um, you have to definitely put in that extra time outside of the gym. So you know, the extra shots, grabbing a teammate, um, bringing your teammate along. So I think from that, we have that energy, we have that buzz, um, kids wanna be in the gym, they're, you know, putting up the shots, getting up the shots and putting in the work. So, you know, we fully believe here that because we are, you know, preparing on the front end, um, hopefully we'll have that confidence and then that'll continue to produce on the offensive end as well. And your non-conference schedule got at Minnesota, <laughs> at Butler. You are eyes at home. It is this year. Yep, we went there last that's year. Good. Yeah, yeah. I think that's. I mean, it's been interesting in our in your league just to see some of these big names. You know, you are I coming to you, Maryland going to UMBC. Yeah, uh, I believe uh, who Missouri's playing at UVM. I mean, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. That's impressive for the league. So. Um, but those, that'll be a fun trip. I played at Minnesota before. Have you ever played at Minnesota? <laughs> I've not played in Minnesota, uh, excited for the trip. And I think one thing about the coaches in the league in general, um, is that we were competitors as well as student athletes. So, you know, we want to instill that in our group of young ladies. So we aren't going to back down. We want to be battle tested early because I think we all share kind of the same sentiments that, you know, your non-conference is going to prepare you for conference. So. 
I think all of us are the same. If you talk to any one through nine, I mean, I coached Shanika at UNH, so I definitely know kind of, you know, her mentality. Um, Candace is from home. We're both from Baltimore. So uh, we definitely bleed and compete the same way. Um, you know, so we're, we're all competitors in that same way. But I think our kids are, yes, excited for the Minnesota Butler trip. It gets Sydney home to, to go back to Butler, but I think they're most excited about the trip to Puerto Rico. So let's yeah. not, <laughs> you know, so they're excited for a little bit of, you know, fun in the sun and getting out there and being able to, you know, compete and, and get some good food in a different environment. So uh, if you had to ask them, that's well, yeah. going to be their highlight of the whole season. <laughs> Which is great. Well, I never got yeah. to go to Puerto Rico, so I guess I should have started with that. Should have yeah. played for you. My coaches <laughs> used to go to like UConn yeah. or you know what one big name, yeah. but that'll be. And when is is that over Thanksgiving? Is that like yep, a Thanksgiving? It's over Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's great. Yep. That's so fun yeah. for the team just mm -hmm. to bond and the parents. Do, do your parents travel pretty well? Yeah, we will have families traveling, so hopefully we'll have a have a pretty good crowd. So we'll get out there a couple of days early, kind of be able to soak up the sun, relax a little bit, do some team bonding things. Um, but as you know, it is a business trip. So, you know, practices and, you know, we definitely want to get out there and we want to be able to compete and put our best foot forward. So um, it's just, I've been there before. So it's just a good time. It's happy, like it's lively, it's bubbly, the sun's out. Um, so I think it'll be a really great experience for our group. It's good. You've got UN, UNC Wilmington, San Jose State mm -hmm. uh, in that Puerto Rico classic. I mean, look, you brought up the food. I love I love Supa's Pizza in Lowell, which is not too yeah. far from campus. Yeah. I mean, if you've been to Supa's, yeah. I mean, the, the big chicken or whatever it's called. All something the time. Chicken. Yeah, that, yeah, that thing is amazing. Um, I'm glad that's still afloat. But, I mean, <laughs> it sounds like you're looking forward to the food, too, in Puerto Rico. Let's not just put this on oh, the players. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we we like to eat over here. Like that's one thing. Like we are going to eat. We're gonna find the best places to eat. Uh, we're gonna find a variety of different foods. But um, you know, we we love a good meal over here, and we love a good snack. So um, we'll we'll get that together, and you know, experience something different. Um, but the food is a perk. But also, you know, getting to play those two games and. Um, you know, competing against different caliber talent, different style of play. Um, that'll be fun as well, just to kind of see, you know, how we make that adjustment. And you will you will have some games at the Songa Center, but I, I, I've i talked to Pat Duquette about this on the men's side too. I get playing at Costello. That's a, that is a fun home court advantage. Such a, uh, a unique, it's got like a peach jam AAU vibe to it. When you pack that place, you get the band in there. I mean, I've done games at yep. all before. I, I think it's a fantastic little uh, little treat and, and a, good yeah. home, a good home court advantage. 100%. I mean, you pack that place, like you said, lots of home court advantage. You feel mm -hmm. like people are on top of you. You're diving for loose balls. Yeah. You got people in the stands that are picking you up, you know, high-fiving you, all those type of things. So, <laughs> you know, you bring in the dance team, you bring in the cheerleaders, you bring in the other student athletes, you bring in, you know, families um, that travel with the opposing team that are rooting for you. And then you got your home crowd of, you know, the campus really coming and supporting. So I think for our men, they've seen that, uh, you know, the last couple of years with being, you know, in the quarters and the semifinals and, you know, it, it was it was hot in here. Like it was. Oh yeah. We were like uh -huh. bowing people to try to get some seats. Um, so it was just like a really good atmosphere. Um, you know, for for everybody. So I like it as well. Um, I think our young ladies enjoy that experience and that atmosphere. You know, um, as well, because who doesn't like it when you know that you have the crowd, you know, behind you pumping you up. Yeah, it's Absolutely. like a, it's it's the, it's the Massachusetts Cameron indoor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard place Our, to play. I will give it that. Oh, the yeah. Depth, yeah. The depth perception for shooting when the baskets are smack up against. <laughs> I'd be I'm like, why that. can't we make a shot? They'd be like, coach, <laughs> I've never. It's just the it's right. I'm like, no excuses. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's a great environment. It's a great atmosphere. Yeah. You guys do a good job with it. Love it. All right. Denise King at UMass Lowell heading into year four. Some young talent ready to make the jump. Uh, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate the time. Already. Thank you. Thanks, Have Denise. a good one. Good.